Hi everyone, it's Lynn Hayes Salman here from Kabogi.com. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you our experiences with our Elf on the Shelf, with the Elf's Pet the St. Bernard, and with the Letters to Santa. As you can see, here's our Elf sitting in the tree over here. Here's our St. Bernard. And the Elf, the St. Bernard, and the Letters to Santa each came with a beautiful book. So you've got There's the St. Bernard Tradition book. Um, here's a letter to Santa. And here's the Elf on the Shelf for Christmas Tradition. So each book that goes along with the product obviously gives you an idea of how the product works. I'm not going to go too much into that. I did actually write a post on my website, I think it was about a week ago, that will you know, give you an introduction to Elf on the Shelf and how everything works. So you can go check that out. I'll put a link below this video so you can have a look. Here are the two DVDs that came with my products. Here is the St. Bernard Save Christmas. And here is the Elf's Story. The books are they're absolutely beautifully illustrated. Um, they're written so that it all rhymes, it flows beautifully, and it, it, that totally captures your children's hearts and imaginations. They get sucked in so quickly to it. Cool, so let's talk about our Elf. His name is Zord. Our children named him. Uh, my children's reaction when they first saw their elf out of the box was absolutely mind-blowing. Um, it took me completely by surprise. Uh, what happened is they had named the elf, and once your elf is named, he's got his magic so he can now fly. And while they were at school, he managed to get out of his box. And he positioned himself on the bookcase in my kid's bedroom, right near my son's bed. And I actually forgot that the elf was on the shelf. And when we got home, I had the shopping and I had their bags and I had like, I was just like, you know, laden down with stuff. And my kids came in the house, my son went into his room and next thing I just hear the scream. It's high pitched. It's just going on and on and on. And I thought, oh my gosh, what's happened? And I went flying around the corner. My daughter was in front of me. She also went running to see what happened. And as she turned the corner, she just stopped dead in her tracks. And she was like, yeah, <laughs> to my son, he's still screaming. And um, I realized that it's off on the shelf, and they're both standing there with their eyes like they're staring at this elf. Um, th the reaction was absolutely mind blowing. I didn't really expect that. And now, every morning when the elf is flown to Santa and come back, my kids, the first thing they do is they bolt out of bed and they start hunting until they find this elf. And every time they find him, you know, there's like squeals of excitement. Um, this Elf on the Shelf has totally, totally nailed it. Um, it's magical, it's beautiful, there's just so much Christmas spirit. Of course, one thing that they want to do, the first time they saw him standing on the shelf, you know, you could literally see my four-year-old son sitting there, looking at this Elf, and you can see his fingers <laughs> going like this. <laughs> um, luckily, the St. Bernard was positioned next to the Elf, and I reminded him that Yes, you can't touch your elf because then the magic disappears. But the St. Bernard is really fluffy and he loves to be held. So this, uh, my son actually sits continuously all day and he's like stroking his St. Bernard. And what we have to do is every morning the St. Bernard has to come in the car with us. He gets strapped in. He has to get all the way into my son's classroom. And there my son has to give him back to me for safekeeping. And I have to drive him back home, and I'm told that I have to put him next to his elf for the day. And then I have to drive him back to school, strapped in. My son says he has to be strapped in. And then pick up my son, and then my son brings him back home and spends his afternoon <laughs> stroking his head. And when my son hasn't got him in his hands, he has him next to the elf. So this is absolutely beautiful um, and it reminds the children to be kind all the time because they, they're always talking about the magic that has to go in here and get back to Santa. You can read about that, how it all works on my website. So, yeah, the elf and the St. Bernard are an absolute hits in our house. They feature in whatever my kids do all day, every day. I can hear my daughter saying, don't do that. Don't do that, Skull, because the elf is watching. Yeah? 
and then she'll say, you need to do this to be kind to me so that the magic can go into this inferno. You know, so they're totally captivated by it. It's absolutely beautiful. So now the letters to Santa. This is an absolutely amazing, mind-blowing product. I absolutely, like, I want to play with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me show you how it works. Uh, inside, you've got your letter. Oops. Inside, you've got your letter. You've got your pens, and you've got your ribbons. And underneath all of this, you've got parchment paper, and you've got Mrs. Claus's Magic Press. Okay, so... So what you do is you give this to your kids and their special pens and they write a letter or they draw to Santa, whatever it is they you know, want to send to Santa. You then put it in an oven tray with these parchment paper. So you put a parchment paper below, a parchment paper on top, and then you put um, Mrs. Claus's press on top of this. And you bake it in the oven and you won't believe what happens. It completely shrinks. To this. That's my son's little, he drew Santa and some presents in a Christmas tree. So it shrinks from this to this in the oven. This is paper, it's soft. This is completely hard, it's unbendable. Um, and then what you get is you get ribbons in the box as well, there's a hole. So you put the ribbon through. And what you do is you create your letter to Santa, you leave it near your elf, your elf flies it to Santa. And then when Santa has read the letter, your elf brings it back and he hangs it on the tree. And it's a decoration. So there's both my kids. Uh, this to me is, is, it's just completely, totally magical. So in case you haven't noticed, I really like these products. And I highly recommend that if you've got young kids that you get yourself uh, the elf on the shelf the letters to Santa, and get yourself a St. Bernard or a, a reindeer pet. You can also get the reindeer, uh, just so that your child has got something to cuddle, so that they're not tempted to, you know, stick their finger on the elf and um, put his magic at jeopardy. Here are some photos and some videos of my kids using the product and of their elf in different places. Please remember to give my video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.